Bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone with affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going If you like tech and stuff then do check out our new channel Technomera link on the screen and description box below Okay now I have these two clips here one is my music with the beats and the other one is the video Okay now take the audio and put it into the timeline let's expand the track size a bit so that we can able to see the audio waveform better let's play again Okay, so I'm not gonna use this first beat here. I'm gonna start with the second one. Let's play again to check where the beat is occurring. So for me, at this point, the beat is occurring. Okay, now let's go here and click on this marker too to mark this area as the beat point. So now I have this blue colored beat marker here indicating the beat point in the song. Just like this, let's mark the other areas too where the beat is occurring. Okay, now our beats are marked. Let's hear again. Once you think that your markers are accurately positioned, now take the video and put it on the timeline. Okay, now go to the position where the first marker is. Well, I'm brightening my clip here a bit because it is quite dark. Now it's good. So at this first marker point, let's split the video. And just like that, split the video at all the mark position. So now we have the splitted portions of the video. Okay, now go to the transitions tab into the warp section and take this warp 7 transition and put it between the clips like this. Okay, now let's decrease the duration of the transition. If you double click on the transition, then you can see on the top the advanced adjustment. Our goal is to make the transition between 04 to 06 seconds and no less or more than that. Now let's add the warp 7 to all other splitted portions too and also adjusting them below the 06 seconds. So if I play now, it looks amazing. Okay, now our effect is done. But wait, if you want to get a bit creative, then there is one more thing that you can do. And that is by going into the effects tab, into the filter section, and there into the distortion section, and taking this chromatic aberration filter and putting it above the video. Now let's trim the chromatic filter to the transition duration and adjusting it above them so that it will only occupy the space that the warp transition has. Something kind of like this. Okay, now if I play, then you can notice that it is quite too much. So let's double click on the chromatic filter and let's decrease the fade to anywhere between 0.07 to 0.20. Well, it's your choice on how much you want to go for. For me, I'm going for 0.10. And now if I play, then. So now our beat has this quite RGB variance in it. And now guys, our effect is finally done. So guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you think that this video is worthwhile, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can able to bring amazing videos just like this for you. Till then, see you later.